So to close off this section we've been doing here about formulating your dream incubation questions, I thought I would end it with just sharing some of his dream incubation question examples that he has at the end of the book, which he has a whole bunch. This is just a few of them that are highlighted for one reason or another. So one example could be, can you dream show me my abandoned self? Another one could be dreaming. Can you show me something that is important for me to see and or know? Uh, what does money mean to me? How do I develop healthy generosity? Um, ask to meet a dead relative. And I've had dreams of experiences um, like that. And those have always been some of the most meaningful dreams that I've had in my life, really. So that can be a cool one to kind of go down that route. Kind of similar to that, you could ask a dead relative if they have a message for you. Um, what will it be like when I have passed on? I would like to meet my spirit guide. How can I build a relationship with my spirit guide? What is a life contract? And he actually talks a bit about that in the book. It's kind of cool, um, kind of along that same line. What is a life review? What is karma? What is the purpose of the universe? How can I improve my painting or drawing skills? And I'm not sure why I highlighted that one because, you know, I really suck at painting and drawing, but I haven't I've never really been trying to improve it that too much. But anyway, you could ask that. Also, if you're like an artist, right, and you um, are painting or drawing, you could ask, please provide me an image that I could paint at this moment. Um, he also, oh, so I actually brought this one up in an earlier video now that I think about it. How do I get more clients who would benefit from my services? But I changed it up to be like, you know, how could I get more subscribers to my channel, right? Um, I would like a joyful dream to lift my spirits. I would like to laugh in my dreams tonight. Then he has some stuff here about specifically about nightmares. So like monster, do you have a message for me? Chaser, is there something that you want for me? How can I better deal with my anxiety about, you know, insert your topic? And then some other ones here I just have from my notes that I'll throw in here really quick. Um, you could ask um, the dream if it has a message for you. Um, how can you thank the dream for serving up an answer, which can be a very useful one because it just shows a lot of appreciation to your subconscious dreamy mind that if it does give you an answer you know what's a good way for you to show your appreciation um then yeah i guess we'll just wrap it up there so those are some examples of some real simple interesting dream incubation questions that you can try posing to your own dreams tonight